drink. I, this, I've never drank a mudslide in my life, but this vacation, the drink was the mudslide, and that was what I drank all week. It was fun. It was, you know, like a little like candy, but still. All right. Follow me down to the valley below. Hey, disciples, warming up here. Pine tree, Peter. I don't know if you know them, but they're really, really good. Great stuff. You'll love it. As the cheerless towns pass my window, I can see. Washed out moon through the fog. Then a voice inside my head breaks the analog and says, Follow me down to the valley below. out of your soul I survived against the will of my twisted foe but the deafness of my world the silence broke and said It's time. 
Yeah. Oh, we are already planning the next one for sure. Everybody wants to go back. Lazarus, my first song on my first day for Serena Vox, who uh, dropped a bomb. That was not. It's not a terribly difficult, uh, difficult song to sing. Um, first thing out of the gate. It's a very mellow, nice, easy thing. You like that one, Peter Northcote? You know that one. Paul Clapp. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're in the process of planning a trip to Costa Rica, but but different different kind of trip. But we'll probably do it somewhere around the time this time uh, this time next year for the next one. It seems to be the best time for everyone. Well, most people, <laughs> not everyone. We we, there, we have some friends who are uh, in the education in the education business, and um, we wish that we could include them. Um, but you know, he's in the shower already. <laughs> it's a very romantic song. Don't see. Yeah, speaking of people that we would love to bring with us, Don't see in the schoolies. What's up, Wade seventy five? Welcome, uh, welcome home to you. Pack you up, Laqueta, You better come next year. I hope that you're in a in a better situation where you can come join us. Um, I don't know. Laqueta said I looked tan. I don't know. I should be tan. I was, I was, uh, I was in the sun a lot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, so I was going to, uh, I was going to tell you guys, I was going to do this stream, uh, as promised about my, uh, my, my influences as a musician, my, the albums that, um, that influenced me and, and made me, who I am and, and continue to inspire me. A lot of these, a lot of these albums I continue to, uh, I continue to listen to. Um, so I started to make this list a couple of years ago, uh, when I was asked to on Facebook. So I didn't work completely from scratch, but, um, they asked for 10 and I, I, I couldn't narrow it down to 10. I narrowed it down to about, about 21, um, oh yes, don't see everybody heard the porcupine tree news today. Absolutely. So um so the so where should I go? Should I start at the beginning or do you wanna or should I start with the ones that were maybe not quite as influential? What do you think? Farrell, you've you've done a lot of streams. Hey K Poco, thank you for the host. Um Yes, back from vacation. <laughs> I'm never going to get through this because I'm going to be reading the chat and I'm going to get distracted by everyone saying hello. Um, so, Farrell, should I should I start at the beginning of my life and what the earliest, earliest influences are? Or should I start with the ones that were not the biggest influences, what were still influential in some way, and then work my way to the top for what was the most influential? So you want to start with early? I'll start with early, but then it's going to kind of get mishmashed together, I guess. But um, so the very first, um, hmm. So the very first, uh, the very first. Uh, oh, K Poco saying something else. I don't know. Earliest says my okay. So uh, so the very first album that I ever was exposed to, and then that, that was in the house that I remember listening to, and not just listening to, but listening to over and over and over and over again, um, was the Beatles. Red Greatest Hits album. So it was the early hits, 63 to 66 or something like that. Um, and it covered all the early ones all the way through Rubber Soul and Revolver. Um, and that was that was the first one. And there are still songs, there are still Beatles songs that I can't listen to the end of one without hearing the beginning of the other. You know, when I hear the end of Eleanor Rigby, the... I immediately in my brain here in the town where I was born. It just it's just there. I'm gonna play some Eleanor Rigby for you. This is um this is a, a different, a slightly different version of Eleanor Rigby than you might be used to, but so this is how um this is a, an arrangement loosely based on uh Mostly based on the jellyfish version of this song. Jellyfish is going to show up. I think it's going to show up later on. Yes, it shows up later on the list. Church where a wedding has been lives 
Hey Tomas, how are you? Hi Kimmy. Who was who was who was the most drunk and often? <laughs> Kimmy, uh, Kimmy might be able to tell you if she remembers. Um, I don't think anyone. I don't think anyone. Thank you for the resub, Gutter. I don't think um, I don't think anyone had a better um, had a better time than Kimmy. I'm gonna be honest. Kimmy, Kimmy was like the star of the show. Everybody. On everyone in our group loved her. Everyone at the resort loved her. Just like she was, just like she was like a. We didn't have any rain, but Kimmy was a big ray of sunshine the whole time we were there. Um, Gutter Mofo, thank you for uh, for six months of subbing. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Oh, don't do that. Wow. So we're talking about the the early. The early influences. So, so uh, that was Eleanor Rigby, um, and which was on the uh, the Beatles' greatest hits, Red Greatest Hits, not the one with the big number one on it, not the number ones, but uh, the one that came out. I don't know. I guess it was in the seventies, maybe. Um, and that I don't know if there's any any album that's a bigger part of the fabric than than that one. I could play every single one of those songs by heart, probably without the lyrics. Um, and right around that time, this is something that some of you may know, some of you may not know. I got to tighten the screws on this chair. So, uh, so my, I have a, I have a distant cousin. He's like a second cousin once removed. I think is is his official uh, his official title, but uh, he is someone who you probably have heard of by the name of Marvin Hamlish. Uh, if you haven't heard of Marvin Hamlish, he was um, he wrote tons and tons of songs in the 70s for Barbara Streisand, and he wrote the music for, for A Chorus Line. Um, he wrote uh, The Spy Who Loved Me. And back in the, uh, the early 70s, he played all the piano music uh, for the movie The Sting, all of the, the Scott Joplin ragtime songs. Um, so... They 
they sent, he was not, a, I only met him once. I mean, he was not a close cousin. Um, but I guess his father and my father were kind of the same generation, I think. I don't know. Um, but he sent over a 45 of, of the entertainer, which was, which was the main theme from, um, from the sting. So the. Everybody recognizes that. So, um, so when I was old enough to start going over to the piano and start plunking out melodies, that was, that was the very first melody that I ever, um, that I ever, I have a, I have, uh, I might even have it on the computer. Let's see if I have it. Um, we used to communicate with my grandfather who lived in Florida, um, via audio tape. So he didn't have to write I guess he was old. He couldn't, he couldn't hold a, hold a pen or a pencil very well. So we would, we just had an audio cassette and we would mail it back and forth. Um, and so I have an audio recording from, from Kenny at, at four or five years old, um, playing the piano. Let me see if I have that. Um, it's not video, unfortunately. No, I can't. Uh... All right, I'll I'll see if I can find it for you for the next time. So, um, hey, Cindy, we are all back in one piece. Are we talking about how uh, talk about how drunk Emmy was for most of the vacation? I'm not going to say that she started drinking at eight thirty and didn't finish drinking until eleven o'clock the first night we were there, or the first full day we were there. But you know. If I were to, I'm not going to say it, but if I were to say it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be lying about it. That's all I'm going to say. Um, all righty. So, so Beatles and, and the entertainer, are my two, uh, my two earliest influences. And then, um, my dad also had, um, records of the Tijuana Brass, Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass. Um, he had, um, uh... oh my God. that one too on a taxi and um same album had spanish flea which was the um the theme from what was that uh the dating game That was definitely um, in my in my head, and then there was always there was always music on in the car. My my oldest sister used to listen to the AM the AM Gold radio. It was not called AM Gold. The Sun. Jeremiah, what's up? Welcome back, and thank you, thank you for the resub for five months. Jeremiah, wish you could have joined us last week. Wish you all could have joined us. Hey, Susan. Um. So yeah, there was there was. Uh, I remember going to my grandma's house in. Um, in uh, Forest Hills, New York, Queens. What songs do I remember hearing? I remember hearing um, She's Gone, All the Notes. And uh, what else were we listening to in the car on the way to, on the way to Grandma's house? Oh, um, you'll never find Another love like mine. Um, so that was like, that was the early years. And then Billy Joel, the stranger found its way. Breezy. Thank you for nine months at tier three. Breezy, we got a baby. We got a Twitch baby. What are we naming it? Hey, key 65. Um, Breeze. Hey, it's good to see you. Missed you. Um, what shall we name our Twitch baby? Oh, what's this now? Coffee Talk. Coffee Talk. Have you have you followed Coffee Talk yet? Coffee Talk is like uh, he sounds just like my Brooklyn guy and my South Shore guy. Kimmy, what is that? Oh my goodness. 
Holiday was great. We were down in uh welcome Raiders. Let me let me um let me welcome our Raiders. Mustang Coffee! Girl, you better slow your coffee down. Coffee Dog was on, uh, obviously, just a minute ago because he's raiding, but usually he's on in the morning. And uh, he came over and raided with his uh, with his peoples. How you guys doing? Um, coffee, I, I trim... I, thank you for a sub bomb, Kenny, by the way. Um, I tuned into his stream and all I saw was his... Uh, I just saw his mug on the, on the screen frozen. Oh, are we doing a hype train? Okay. I guess we're doing a hype train, Coffee Talk. Um, so, oh, that's where I got Mustang from. I knew I got Mustang from somewhere. Um, anyway, uh, so I, Coffee Talk has spoken to his audience uh, many times about my hype train, um, which is, um, which is, uh, I just play a lot of songs back to back. And if you put in 500 bits or better, or gift somebody a sub, not that shirt, uh, we get you in a raffle. Um, it's a, with a shirt that says Eargasm on it. That's like my emote. Um, so get yourself subs or buy somebody a sub. If you drop a sub bomb, you get in there twice in, on the on the raffle. We give one away at everyone at the end of everyone. All right. I keep forgetting to do the potato uh, the potato hype trade. So here we go. Get some uh, get some songs in the chat, and I will uh, I will play them as soon as I see them. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. What happened? Here she is. There she is. Miss Potato Head. Jeremy spoke in yesterday. Coffee talk spoke in. He spoke like this. Und lieben glauben globen. All right, I got something to say down in a hole, losing my soul. I'd like to fly, but my wings have been torn in I, What did I just see? Oh, had oh. Turn the page, just 
Rush or Bob Seger? Be more specific. Well, I've never been to Spain. But I kind of like the music. I am the eye in the sky. Looking at you. Why is Joe Lopes the only one requesting songs? I see. Left before the sun came up that day Well, she's walking through the clouds On a lone, lonesome highway East of Omaha Thank you, Serena Thank you, Farrell Thank you, Breeze And then in the name of song I can't remember how holding out for your core goes. Winding your way down a Baker Street. Cause tramps like us, baby, we were born to run. Oh my goodness, is that it? Are we done? All right. My goodness. All right. You can stop. Um, did anybody count, Wendy? Okay. We don't know. We're not going to do the diamond today. What's up? Uh, I thought he was going to be here. I don't know. Uh, we're not taking guesses because I don't know how, how uh, I don't know, the top he wasn't counting. Um, Coffee Talk, I saw you put in um, Elton John, All the Young Girls Love Alice. Would you like me to play that for you as your raid request? I will. Oh, look, I'm still a potato. Um. You could sing the living bell. There you go. Would you like Alice or would you like Locomotor Breath? I will do either one of those for you. Thank you, Wendy. You want Alice? Okay. Um, I will tie that in. Oh, should I should I change myself back to a regular person? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to say thank you to some people. Rosie Arrowhead Ranch. Um, welcome back. Or maybe welcome me back. I don't know. Thank you guys for a uh, for an unbelievable hype train. As always, Serena dropped a bomb. Kimmy dropped uh, a sub for Ficta. Farrell dropped a bomb. Breezy dropped the bomb. Uh, Don C, thank you for 500 bits. Kimmy, thank you for 1,000 bits. I'm sure a lot more than that. Um, One Blue Strat, thank you for 500 bits. Senorita, thank you for 500 bits. Coffee Talk, thank you for the raid and 200 bits. Let's get Coffee Talk in the in the raffle too since they raid, raided and kicked this whole thing off. Um, don't let me forget. K Poco, thank you for 100 bits. Serena Vox, thank you for 500 bits and a couple of sub bombs tonight. Um, Joe Lopes, thank you for 1000 bits. Kimmy, thank you for uh, a sub for Mustang 064. Senorita Wendita, thank you for giving sub for La Quetta. One Blue Strat resubbed. Kimmy dropped a bomb and Coffee Talk and Breeze had just um resubbed with her tier three for nine months. Jeremiah with a resub for five months. Uh, Gutter, thank you for uh, your resub. Did we get Gutter on here? Yes, we did. Excellent. All right. I think that's everything that happened. It seems like not. Is that everybody? Okay. Uh, did I miss anyone? All right. So we are going to uh, stay pickle Alice into local motor. Oh, look at you. Um, let me. I got to call up the uh, call up the wheel over here. I'm going to call up the wheel over here, Coffee Talk. I got this fucking wheel, and I put all the fucking names on it. And then I spin it, and somebody wins a fucking, somebody wins a fucking shirt. I forgot how to do this. How do I do this? I need some tech support. Okay. What? Who are you saying okay to, Quasi? Yep. Oh, okay. There it is. You better win this fucking shirt. That's all he says. That's all I'm going to say. So uh, I'm going to plan a uh, an appearance on Coffee Talk's stream sometime in the next couple of weeks, probably. Um, here we go. So we got um, coffee we're going to put on there. 
and we got Farrell, and we got Kimmy, and we got Jeremiah, and we got Wendita. Oops, that's not how you spell her name. Wendita, and we got Breeze, Breezy Bruin, Serena, Lopes, K. Poco, Gutter, Don C. And then we're going to put Farrell on there again, and Kimmy on there again, and Breezy on there again, and Serena. Excellent. Or Bice. That's not how you spell it. Breeze. No, not Broise. I'm typing too fast. All right. I got to hydrate after this. Don't let me start without hydrating again. All right. Let us, uh, let us spin the wheel. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Spin it for a shirt. Your gasm shirt. Or if I have your size, you can also um, you can also get the original prog rock piano bar shirt that looks like that. Okay, Poco. Look at that. Congratulations, K Poco. Very nice. Solid work. Solid work, K Poco. Oops, I'm a potato again. Let me fi let me fix that. Okay. K Poco, I believe that I have sent you a shirt at some point in the past. Um, and if your address and everything has a yes. Oh, I sent you a shirt, um, one of the original Prog shirts, so you're going to get an Eargasm shirt. Congratulations. There's no reason you wouldn't have had a chance there, uh, Coffee Talk. Hey, Poco had one, had one slot, and so did you. Yeah, just you guys had the same. I don't have your size anyway. That, actually, I did, uh, I did order a bunch of uh, big guy shirts. Oh, they're on the way, so. Um, uh, hey, Poco. What are you doing, Kenny? God, I'm so out of shape. All right, hold on. <laughs> All right, K Poco, congratulations. No, uh, do you you don't have an eargasm shirt, K Poco? Do you? We're giving away this one. I think you have the original one, K Poco. You were one of the you were one of the first winners, I believe. You were up at the top of the sheet. Okay, Poco, if you don't want another, uh, if you don't want the eargasm shirt, let me know. Oh, okay, good. All right, so so what we're doing tonight, my friends, is um, I'm talking about musical influences and, and, and albums and CDs that, that had, had played, that played a part in, in who I am as a musician. And, um... As it so happens, uh, one of the albums on this list is uh, called Goodbye Yellow Brick Road by an artist named Elton John. Um, I didn't find Elton John until a little later. I definitely discovered Billy Joel first, but Elton John was, um, well, he was always there, you know. Everybody knew Benny and the Jets and Crocodile Rock, but um, this one, this song is awesome. Hold on a second. Find me later. All right. So um, this uh, this album, which was released in I believe 1974, what are you doing, microphone? Um, has anybody come in that I need to talk? No. Um, so this this album came out in um, in 74. And, um, oh, shit. and, uh, this, this song is about a, um, about a girl who's in school and, uh, and she likes other girls, which is not something that people were really singing about in 74. And, uh, she is a naughty, naughty little girl who, who, uh, who who goes and uh, who goes and services all the older women of the neighborhood when their husbands are out at work, and um, very very risque, very risque subject matter uh, back in 1974 uh, from Elton John, and this one's for um, our friend uh, Coffee Talk. All right, Serena. Sorry if this song offends you. 
Hold on, I can make my left, I can make myself look like Elton John while I'm singing this. Hold on. Let's see what we got. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. Hold on. Alright, fuck it. If I give you my number, do you promise to call me? Where to my husband's away? Come over and please me Alice, it's my turn today All the young girls of Alice Tender young Alice, they'd say If I give you my number You promise to call me Went to my husband's away What's up? What is that about? All right. Human Juke in the house. That's uh, for our uh, for our Raiders. Coffee Talk, thank you for uh, your request. Human Juke, uh, that's our friend Danny down in uh, one of the Carolinas. I forget which one. Um, it's all one big Carolina to me. Anyway, excellent music streamer, looper, dueling piano player. Uh, go follow Danny Human Juke. 
He's like, he, 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 uh, you know, they call me an octopus. He's an octopus. He's like, he's he's got this rolling chair. He's like rolling all over the, his studio playing the drums. And then he rolls over and loops the bass. And then he rolls over and loops the guitars. Like he's, he's like, he's all over. Thank you, Coffee Talk. Um, we'll, um, we'll, uh, we'll link up and, uh, and figure out, figure out what a good day is in the next, uh, probably, you know, sometime before the end of next week. Whew. Brian Eno did the sound. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Um, so welcome everybody. Um, thank you, uh, Kimmy, for a couple more gift subs for Sun Watcher for Human Juke. Um, oh, and another little uh, factoid about about Human Juke is that um, Wendy and I went uh, on our honeymoon uh, to Jamaica to Negril, Jamaica, to a resort called Couples Swept Away, and there's a piano player down there by the name of Ultimate Chocolate Thunder, which, by the way, is his real name. It's on his birth certificate, I think, and. Um, Somehow it came up in the conversation, and it turns out uh, that Danny Human Juke knows him as well. Um, and uh, Danny, what did you say? You proposed there? We had your honeymoon there, or both, something like that? Ultimate Chocolate Thunder. Welcome, uh, Tophead. Thanks for joining us tonight. Does anybody else know how to mod? Just kidding, Tophead. Just kidding. Cool. Um, so, uh, this is my, uh, 3,500 follower celebration. We're talking about, um, we're talking about some of my, uh, what, what makes up this as a musician and what I was listening to and when, um, so we've already hit the Beatles. Uh, we've already hit, uh, the entertainer by the sting, not the sting from, from the movie, the sting, the, that is not a sound that I need in my life right now. Hold on a second. Asheville, I have a, a stepsister there. That hair is real nice. Um, and then, um, so time marches on, and I was listening to a lot of what people would now call AM Gold. Uh, and then, um, and then the stranger, Billy Joel, the stranger, found its way into my house via my older sister. And um, I always wanted to hear "Moving Out" because "Moving Out" has that part in the middle that goes, ak, 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 and that, that you know. As a as a young boy is the funniest thing you've ever heard. Um, so um, once I heard Billy Joel, it was like that was that was it. Let's do a little uh, let's do a little bit of that. What's up, Trish? Trish Cricket. We're saying a big uh, congratulations to uh, to Cricket, uh, who was down there in Mexico with us and whose divorce became finalized while she was down there. So um, here's to uh, here's to divorce for you, Cricket. Um, they say love is grand and uh, divorce is a hundred grand. Cheers, everybody. And I got to say, um, Trisha Cricket, um, and I know I said this to you separately, but I'm going to tell everybody in the chat, and I hope that I, you don't mind my saying so. Is, uh, Trisha Cricket had to clear like an, an enormous amount of, of, of hurdles to get uh, on the trip to Mexico that Wendy and I were, were had very little faith that she was going to make it. And she freaking jumped over like five really super high hurdles to get there um so we won't get so specific because i don't know how specific she wants me to get but um uh we're so glad you could join us cricket trish it was great to have you uh anyway um so the first song uh from the stranger billy joel album uh released in 1977 uh it's called moving out <laughs> Reading fat friends come comments and I'm like getting all fucked up. Your money. And it seems such a waste of time. If that's what it's all about. Mama, if that's moving up, then I
So uh, I think I skipped. Well, thank you for the bits, Fab Francine. Billy Bits. Billy Bits, very nice. No, I don't want Boston. I want Billy. All right. So, um, yeah, to get through this, I'm just going to give you little bits and pieces of songs. Hi, Heather Butler. Welcome back. It's been a long time. Um, so in that time, I probably before Billy Joel, uh, I had a, I have an older brother as well, and he was listening. There were two albums um, that he was listening. Kimmy, what was that? Did you run out of red bits? Holy shit! I give her a hundred bucks in my pocket as as a hundred dollars in my pocket. Says uh, says Peter Northcote. Kitty did it. Thank you, Kitty. Wow. Thank you, Kimmy. Well. You just influenced the decision of what to play from uh, from from the next for the next two songs. Um, so my brother was listening to an album called. There's three albums on this list actually. Well, my brother had a big influence, I guess. Um, one of them was called uh, "A Night at the Opera" by a band called Queen. And um, you may not know the name of the album, but you most certainly uh, know at least two of the songs. Um, one of which goes. <laughs> And then if you don't know that one, you most certainly know um Yes you do. Um so a night at the opera has uh, has those two songs and maybe a couple other you know. Um but they're one of um one of um one of Kimmy's favorites is on that album. So I'm gonna do that right now because she just sent over uh she just sent over uh, a big fat donation. So this um, this was not a Freddie song. This was a Brian May song. Peter Northcote is here somewhere. He he chatted before, but he's probably in the shower washing his washing his naughties. So this song uh, this song tricks you. Uh, it makes you think that uh, it, it makes you think that it's uh, they, about a an, o- an an ocean vessel that's sailing out, sailing out into the blue. And then, as the song and the story unfold, it turns out that it is not a uh, it's not an, an ocean vessel; it's a space vessel. And this uh, this group of volunteers uh, goes out to find new lands, and they come back. Um, a year later, in their own, in the, in the people who are on the spacecraft, they come back a year later, and they're a year older. But everybody on the Earth is like forty years older, a hundred years. Later. Everybody's way older um, because of the way the space time continuum works, I guess. So Brian May, as you may or may not know, was an astrophysicist. So this is uh, obviously his his uh, influence. Hey Cole, what's going on? All right. Yeah, look, I'm a Victoria's Secret model. You want to, hold on. You want me to really look like a Victoria's Secret model? Watch this. Watch this. Okay. Ready?
are always <laughs> always looking over there it's a little creepy um wade um so yes it's the acoustic pickup on the parker and it's got some chorus on it to make it sound like a 12 string and some reverb <laughs> there's a um there's a um there's a video of brian may playing that solo on a on a 12 string and it just sounds absolutely beautiful uh so 39 by queen and then um another one of my uh my influential albums that came from my brother is an album by sticks called the grand illusion and thanks tomas the grand illusion um had uh at least three songs on it that you know, and I'm going to do one of them. Yeah, every once in a while, I'm able to beat Kim, Kimmy to a gift sub on someone else's channel. It's, it's always like a victory. It's like, yes! <laughs> Thank you, Kimmy, for 100, 100 bits and a $100 donation. That's crazy. Crazy. Ah... Uh. I doing oh yes all right so um the grand illusion had um what did it have on it the first song was called the grand illusion <laughs> Fooling yourself, which sounds like that meatloaf song, doesn't it? You see the world through your cynical eyes. You're a troubled young man, I can tell. Um, but the most famous song off of that album, and possibly any Sticks album, uh, is a song called "Come Sail Away." Miss America, Castle Walls. Yes, "Come Sail Away." I'm gonna do it. It's it's you know some piano players see this um, see the song on the same level as uh, as like Stairway to Heaven and Piano Man, but you know it still holds up. Let me see if I can do it in a different key. Now I'll just do it. That's right, Tara. Same subject matter. Very good good catch. Free to face the life 
that's ahead of me On board on the captain So climb aboard We'll search for tomorrow On every shore
Come sail away. Tara, that was a, a really freaking amazing observation you made at the beginning of that. There are so many things happening right now. Hold on a second. Fab Francine, thank you for a, uh, a sub for Heather Butler. Um, Cricket has re uh, redeemed fatherly advice. Trish, let me know what I can help you with. Um, Mr. Moss has subbed with his prime, and hello. Uh, Goof, Goofball King 69 which was actually my original Twitch name. Um, thank you for the follow. Um, Fab, thank you for a gift sub for John. Kimmy, thank you for a gift sub for Mama Dukes. And Toppet, thank you for a gift sub for Cole. Um, I think that's everybody. TJ, what's going on? Uh, uh, uh. Listen, I'm sure that you guys are saying nice things, but uh, if I if I um, if I make exceptions for the for the English only rule, um, then everyone's going to start doing it, and it's not because uh, you know, it's not because I'm anti everything but American. I certainly am not. It's just that we don't know what you're saying. And if somebody else comes in and starts speaking into the language and saying bad stuff about your mom, I'm not going to know it. I don't want people saying bad stuff about your mom. Fantastic Kitty. Yes, we are back. We are back. I'm going to be here tonight. Um, I'm going to be here Wednesday um, for an East Coast early stream. I'm going to be doing 3 o'clock, 3 to 6. And then Wendy and I and Kimmy and, uh, and Don C, I think, uh, are going to see a band called The Musical Box, uh, which is the ultimate Genesis tribute band uh, on Wednesday night. So um, I'm going to probably do a pretty Genesis-heavy stream on uh, on Wednesday, but who knows? We'll see what happens. But that'll be uh, 3 o'clock Eastern time, which is 7 o'clock uh, UK time. All right. Yes, you need to speak English here. As, uh, as many people in the middle of our country would say, you're in America. Talk American. Actually, I don't sound like that. In the middle of the country, they sound. But anyway, this is my uh, Dia de la Muerta shirt. It's Dia de la Muerta today uh, in Mexico and the other uh, Mayan origin countries. Um, if you've ever seen uh, the movie Coco, uh, came out, Pixar movie from a couple of years ago. It talks all about Dia de la Muerta. Um, Day of the Dead is the... See, I'm telling you not to speak in a different language, and I'm saying Dia de la Muerta. That's Day of the Dead in Spanish, and it happens right after Halloween, but it's not supposed to be a scary, ghosty kind of holiday. It's just about the spirit of the of the, of the deceased uh, relatives coming back, and people hold vigil in the uh, in the cemeteries all night with lots of... You see the, the marigolds on the shirt, and, and this is the symbol um, for that holiday. So if you ever see this, it's not... Oh, it's just decorative. It's uh, it's a symbol for that for Dia de la Muerta, and that was that's today. All right, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do um, Hungarian. I have Hungarian roots, by the way. My both of my nephews speak uh, fluent Hungarian. Um, Dia de los Muertos. Oh, look at that! Farrell's even got the emotes. Very nice, Angie V. All right, so Trish would like some fatherly advice, and I'm going to give you the advice, Trish, as though I were a roofer from the South Shore of Long Island. All right, so what can I give you some advice about? What would you... What? Anything funny? Make Trish a laugh? What am I, a freaking clown? All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I overreacted. I overreacted when you said make you laugh because I've been away all week. I forgot how to do this. I'm trying to unwrap my cough drop, and I think somebody broke into my house. It's faking thieves. They broke into my house, and they made all my, my wrappers to stick to the cough drops. Sorry. Kimmy was watching. Kimmy was on the plane. She was watching Goodfellas without any earbuds in her ears. She couldn't even hear the sound. She said, I've seen this, I seen this movie so many times, I don't even need to listen to the audio. I know what they're saying. Karen, what did you do, Karen? Am I a clown to you? Don't be scared of clowns. By the way, Cricket, uh, here's a little bit of fatherly advice for you. Pertaining to clowns. All right? If you're ever attacked, if you're ever attacked by a whole group of clowns, always go for the juggler. Always go for the juggler. All right. How's that? Are we good? Sorry. Sorry if that wasn't long enough. Sorry it wasn't long enough 
for you for your for your for your ten thousand points or whatever it is. I'm telling jokes, talking like a South Shore roofer, giving fatherly advice. I got it all. Ray Haluska, another guy who was there on the trip with us. I made you laugh. Good. I'm glad I made you laugh. Mm. Joe Lopes, you should have been down there with us. That's all I have to say about that. He does it all. Anyway, so hi, everyone. My name is Kenny, and uh, I am talking about my early musical influence. So, so far, we have covered the Beatles. We've covered the music of uh, Marvin Hamlish and uh, the Sting soundtrack. We have um, we have covered um, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road with All the Young Girls of Alice. We have covered uh, Billy Joel from The Stranger. We covered um, 39 from A Night at the Opera by Queen. And we have covered Come Sail Away um, by the band Styx from the Grand Illusion album. And um, Hiring a Rufa. So I guess with those with those two last ones that I did, uh, that was my brother's influence, there are two more that I think I have to uh, include in this list for my brother. Uh, one of them is an album by a band called Yes. And it looks an awful lot like this. What is that album? What's that album? Chat, come on. Who's the first one who could type it quick? Ah, DJ Barracuda, a little faster than Don C. It is not, yes, 90210, because that's not even a thing. It's pronounced fragile. Right, Wendy? Fragile. Fraggle. <laughs> Now, most people would do a roundabout. But I'm not going to do a roundabout. I'm going to do something else. But I'm not sure what it is. Hold on. Yes, fragile track list. Fragile. Christmas is coming. November 1st, you're going to start hearing uh, Christmas music. Oh, good Lord. Good Lord. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play. No, I'm not going to do that one. All right. Every time I do long distance run around, I screw it up. So let's do um, let's do a little south side of the sky. This will definitely be um, cut a little bit. You don't like the Mariah Carey song? Feliz Navidad I can't listen to The Mariah Carey song Like I can deal with that We had that <laughs> I did a wedding in August And they requested All I want for Christmas is you And the place just erupted So Do I know the fish? Yeah Something like that um, Anyway South Side of the Sky Which is uh, Which opens up I think side two of Fragile. It's one of my favorites. Um, I don't know if we're going to do the whole thing, but we'll see. We'll see how good it feels. I would screw up that part. We'll see what happens tonight. A million miles 
side of the sky and then and then in, on that same page um my brother started listening to some of the corp, 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 uh, corporate rock as well and um let's see if i can get this one out of my voice oh i miss you guys like crazy oh there was something i wanted to address in the chat what was it thank you don c I'll try it better the next time. Um, the cats. Oh, I got to show you the, the the shirt that I designed. I designed a shirt for um, for all the people who came on the trip with us. It's it was one of those cats, um, but I gave him a margarita and a beer. And uh, if I can, yeah, I'll show it to you later. Tom in Boston, what's up, Tom? Have you uh, followed Tom in Boston yet? He is on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings, and um, he will make your day that much better. Which is all you really need on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings. And well wishes for Dino. That's right. Um, I uh, I saw Farrell on Tom in Boston. Tom in Boston uh, just got on Twitch about a month ago, and and uh, he he hit his uh, 500 follower milestone while we were in Mexico. And I and I whispered uh, or I messaged Kimmy, who was down by the pool getting chairs for everybody. Tom just hit 500. So Kimmy shows up, and she just. You know, it's nine, it's nine o'clock in the morning, and Kimmy's already shit faced. Thank you, Don. Thank you for a twenty-five dollar dono, or a dono, as it were. Thank you, buddy. Um, yeah, after I'm done with my little uh, thing here, I'm happy to play something else for you if you want. Um, yeah, so Kimmy starts dropping sub sub bombs on Tom and Boston. It was uh, 
it was it, he was he was uh he he she broke him. I'm like I'm sort of used to it by now. It's still great. I'm still you know broken by it. Um, but yeah, if I weren't so busy, Tom, I would uh, I would play your play your little shout out. But uh, Tom, for those who don't know, is a um is a finger style guitar player, um, and it's not it's not classical finger style. It's it's just it's very he's playing percussion, but he's playing the chords and he's playing the melody all at the same time. It's 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 guitar playing that I can't wrap my head around. Um, and it's just it's so chill and mellow and and he's chill and mellow and it's just it's a really nice it's a really nice stream uh to start the day so um recommended highly recommended tom in boston love you too son all right wade i do not recommend drinking with kimmy because you will end up in the hospital that's all i have to say about that um anyway um so another song i always remember listening to um as a young as a young child he does not have the funny accent because he is from uh he's from the very very posh posh shores of westchester i think he lives in scarsdale actually scarsdale he lives in scarsdale and one of them in one of them seven million dollar houses he streams from his seven million dollar house in scarsdale he's hoity-toity he's the most posh all right uh, foreigner. And how crappy my vocal was because my battery died. I couldn't even hear it. Sorry, everybody. I don't know if there's one single note in that song that I can hit. Nigel, what is going on, buddy? How you doing? Let me change my battery. So um, yeah, foreigner, cold as ice. That was uh, that was a song that was on in my house a lot when I was growing up, even though I'm only 38. Thanks, Fab Francine and Cindy Court. Get fragile off there, There's fucking cats. All right. Do you want to see the? Uh, do you want to see the picture of the group of us? So we had a um, we had a little we had a little beach party uh, on the second the second night the third night and. Um, out of the 41 of us, 37 were there. And um, I got a little picture. Let me show you the picture. Hang on. I'm going to cover up these freaking cats. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what this is going to look like on the screen when I first pull it up. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pleasant? 
It's a little too big. So, um, that was our group. Uh, it was just before it was just before sunset, and um, hold on, I'll close up a little bit over here. So, you got Tommy and Holly and Wendy and me up in front. That's uh, why Glenn Ca over there with the beard. And you got Kimmy right behind Wendy, looking very tan, even though it was only the third night. And there's there's a Ray Haluska over there. He's the, t- the super tall one behind the blondes. And uh, who else? Fab Francine. Where is Fab Francine in this picture over here? Oh, there she is. Uh, uh, yes, Fab is right. Uh, is right behind Holly. Um, who else? And there's Don C. Just kidding. Don C wasn't there. Um, Nisi is is in this picture. She's not in the chat at the moment, but um, Nisi was there. She's uh, over my left shoulder. Um, so, and then, so let me see if I can zoom in on the shirt a little bit. Hang on. Hey, Will Wagner music. So you can see the, uh, you can see the cat, (laughs) you can see the cat with a drink with a Corona in one hand and a margarita spilling in the other. It says the Jukesters Rock Cancun. What? Yes. And that's me and Wendy and Holly. If you've ever seen Holly Rocker. Look at that hair. I didn't realize how much hair she had. My goodness. All right. Anyway, we uh, we had a blast. We really did. And, you know, it, it, you, you take a chance with uh, you take a chance going on a vacation with a with a group of people, um, especially a lot of people who have never necessarily met before. And um, it's just like everybody got along. Nobody complained about a damn thing. It like it really it, it we couldn't have couldn't have imagined or asked for a, a better trip than we just took. That's for sure. Urgh, I'm trying to get my chat the right size. I can't get it. Ah. All right. Anyway, let's get back to the tunes over here. You didn't come to hear me blab. Well, maybe you did, but. All right, find the sober one. So, so yeah, so it was just supposed to be like a little cocktail party on the beach. And uh, our friend Edwin brought, brought, his, uh, brought a little handheld laser. And he had bought me a laser back early in the quarantine days. So I brought my laser and uh, we had both lasers going on the sand and we had a little speaker doing some uh, doing some seventies disco and the ladies started dancing and and uh, it was all sorts of fun. Thank you, uh, thank you, Joe Lopes for a sub for Nigel Shadow Ruth. Um, yeah, it, it was really. And then <laughs> I uh, then I then I aimed the laser up at one of the buildings and it was just like it was just this huge laser show going on on the side of one of the buildings. It just it was just such a great night. It turned into. Uh, it turned into an epic party that we did not um, that we did not necessarily expect to happen. All right, so let's talk a little more about where I came from. So um, I'm going to um, to blow through some of these uh, in no particular order, maybe in slightly particular order. Um, so I had found Billy Joel. I had found some minor prog and and just corporate rock and sticks and foreigner and. Um, Let's see. What else did we have? Um, oh, of course, Boston. Speaking of corporate rock, and Tom in Boston, uh, that first Boston album. Who could? Uh, there's not a bad song on that album. You went, oh wait, have a good night. We'll see you soon. Thanks for stopping in. Um, so uh, Boston. What a band! That first album, you know, you hear it now, and it, and it and it and it sounds, you know, like like the like, you know, like a lot of the other classic rock stuff. But when that album came out, nothing sounded like that. And and Tom Scholz, the guitar player, he had designed his own guitar and his own amp, and and the, no other guitar player really sounded like that. And I just I sometimes imagine them in the in the recording studio, mixing that first Boston album and listening to that, and it's just the massive. Just the massive sound of the vocals and the guitars. Have you ever heard? Um, you ever heard the? Uh, if you look on YouTube, you can get an acapella track of the vocals, Brad Delb's vocals on uh, on a bunch of the. Hold on, um, acapella. Boston. Let's see if I can find one. I'll play along with it. Um. Let's see. Oh, here we go. 
It's just it, his voice was just so so pure. Sort of the end. Got to keep on chasing that dream. Though I may never find it. Listen to the outro. He just goes crazy. It's all him. That's a, that's a, that's a very, it's a E flat six, very close harmony. Hold on. Oh, fantastic blacks. What's up? How are you doing over there? I, I tuned in for like half a second to, uh, to a couple of your streams while we were away. You were doing Squid Game, which I haven't seen yet, so it didn't mean that much to me. Um, one of these days we're going to watch that. And then I saw your uh, your Beetlejuice. Oh, I love Beetlejuice. One of my favorite movies of all time. Um, is that true? About Brad Delp? That's interesting. He was an opera singer and recruiter for the band, had no real interest in doing rock music, but then money and fame converted him. Um yeah, the the story of his of his end was was really like was really sad. I don't think I want to tell it on stream, but it was uh, not it was it was not good. But for for someone with such a what busy, um, just what a voice. So that first Boston album, part of the fabric, um, that is that is this. So now we're like in the mid the mid seventies, and um, we're starting to um, we're starting to get to Pink Floyd. Um, do I have to pick pick a Pink Floyd album? I don't think I do. Um, yeah, well, yeah. Tom Scholz invented the Rockman. Yep. Um, so. I think the first Pink Floyd album I had um, ears on was Wish You Were Here with um, with Shine On You Crazy Diamond for sure and, and Have a Cigar and, and, and Welcome to the Machine, all those, all those songs. And then, uh, and then we had um, The Wall and Dark Side of the Moon and, you know, all the... I, 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 I'm ashamed to admit that I really don't know anything from the Sid Barrett era of Pink Floyd. Nothing. Not, I don't, like I, I maybe heard a couple songs once or twice, um, 
but those but those uh those three albums dark side wish we were here and pink floyd the wall are such a huge such a huge part of of the musician that i am um i don't know how many of you have have been around since i've i don't know when the last time i was i did the whole pink floyd the wall cd i think maybe i did that at 2000 did i do that at 2k wendy i don't remember you went through a serious boston phase all right uh, me too I I wore all three of those first albums out for sure. Um, I know I did it at 500, but I did it again, I think at 2000. And then I did, I did an excerpts from the wall um, uh, on my, on my front page stream. It's only one album basically with Sid. There was some interesting star. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah, it was a lot more like experimental, acid trippy kind of stuff. All right, Cricket. I assume Ninny is a dog. So how do you pick a song to sing off Pink Floyd, The Wall? Anybody? Kimmy, you want to pick one? Maybe I'll do the wall again at 4K. I don't know. Should we do it again? Are you guys sick of me doing that already? You want to do it again? My precious. Hey, Cancer Cat. What's up? You didn't catch it the first time? All right. The second time was only better than the first time. Um, what should we do? You know what? I'll do a little Pink Floyd the Wall block here. Without the graphics.
Daddy loves you too And the sea may look warm to you, babe And the sky may look blue Have a hype train, I'm gonna keep doing the wall. Exclamation point HT. So with the hype train, as you may know, 500 bits or better gets you into a raffle for a eargasm t-shirt or a sub, gift sub. We'll give it away at the end, but I'm gonna keep playing the wall. Sorry, hype train, uh, maybe explanation point hype? Explanation point hype train, I can't remember.
to school There were certain teachers who hurt the children in a way they could oh. By pouring their derision upon anything we did Exposing every weakness, however carefully hidden by the kids Mother, do you think they'll drop the bomb? Hey, Cobra. Mother, do you think they'll like this song? Try 
should I run for president? Get to the follow, G Man. Mother, should I trust the government? Side one, Pink Floyd the wall. Oh, you missed all side one, Green Man. You just got the tail end. And a freaking awesome hype train. What's up, Tuck Shop? Thank you. So yeah, I don't know if there's uh that's that's one of the one of the main major heavy heavy influences on what? You need that command HT. Yes, I do. That's true. Hold on, here, take this. And um, put it on my computer downstairs so I remember to do it in the morning. 
There you go. So, Kimmy, as always, thank you for your unbridled and seemingly limitless generosity. I don't know how you do what you do. That was, uh, you know, I see this hype train it's stalling out a little bit, 30%, level 5, which is, you know, that's farther than a lot of streamers get. And and I I so much appreciate all the support you guys give. It's it's really, you know, I, I hope that, I hope you don't think I take it for granted, because I don't. Um, three Addis Rojas. Addis Rojas. Welcome. Um, so let's see what happened on the hype train. Fab Francine was in for 500 bits. G Man 335 gave a follow. Thank you, G Man. You're following number 3,548. My little counter is in three more followers. My counter is going to say 3.6 on my page. I never thought that I would get that many followers, by the way. Never in a million years. Fantastic Kitty. Thank you for uh, a gift sub for Dark Native. Give, give me 50 gift subs. That's like unbelievable. Plus another five before that. Senorita Wendita. Um, thank you for um, for 1,000 bits. Think think about. Well, thank you for the prime sub. We'll get you in on that uh, on that raffle. You may have to remind me. Arrowhead Rosie, thank you for 100 bits. Serena Vox, thank you for 500 bits. Senorita, another 500 bits. Uh, Joe Lopes, another 500 bits. Um, Don C, thank you for 300 bits. Getting us started on this hype train. Lopes with 200. Senorita with 200. Don C with 300. Kimmy with 100. And Breezy. With five gift subs. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. And think, think, thank you for the prime sub. Let me um, just write you down so I don't forget you, even though I'm going to do this now. Think. Think, think. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Have you not been around in a while? Or have I, I not been around in a while? It's definitely one of us. Oh, my God, I need a drink. All right, let's uh, get the wheel going. By the way, um, while I'm typing this all up, I'm just going to remind you guys, I'll be back for a prog stream on Wednesday uh, right here on this channel. But uh, earlier in the day, seven, uh, 3 o'clock Eastern time, which will be 7 p.m. GMT, our clocks go back um, next weekend. So, um, so we're four hours Eastern time, U.S. is four hours behind GMT right now. Just for a week, though. Somebody let Toppy know so he doesn't show up late by accident. But that'll be uh, 3 o'clock Eastern, 7 p.m. GMT. Um, it'll be me pre-gaming for a, a, a Genesis tribute concert that I am going to uh, attend that night. And then Thursday, Jukesters returns um, to our Thursday schedule. And then, excuse me. Uh, Sunday, Jukester's Greatest of All Time stream. We are picking uh, the greatest song of all time with the word heart in the title. Songs with heart. Heart or hearts. Um, so you can uh, you can nominate what you want, and the winner of the night gets a shirt. We may do that over two weeks. So if it is a two-week one, the winner of uh, both weeks gets a $50 cash prize. I didn't say fought. I said hot. All right, Tara. Thank you for your help on Discord, or attempting to help <laughs> uh, Tara on Discord. Tara sent me a message on Discord. She's like, he said, you know, you've been on Discord for a year, and you know what that, you've got Dickie McGeezek set up. I said, I know. I wish I, I wish I cared. I, I just, I just can't. Kimmy, Fab. Uh, and then Kitty, and then we get another Breezy, and another Kimmy. All right. Yeah, well, song, not the band heart, but songs with the word heart in the title. So it could be Heart of the Sunrise, it could be Heart of the Matter, it could be... Um, what? We haven't decided yet if we're going to take compound words like heartbreaker or heartache tonight. I think that there's I think there's enough I think that there are enough heart songs without having to use the compound words. But we'll we'll take a poll in the on the Thursday show and decide what we're gonna do. All right. Um Toppy oh we weren't never mind Toppy. <laughs> I forgot we weren't counting. Yes it is. Oh, fartbreaker. 
You're a fart breaker, dream maker, love taker. Don't you mess around with me. You're a heartbreaker, dream baker. Total break of my heart is a good one. All right, let's uh, spin the wheel. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Last one K Poco got. I think a lot of these people already have a shirt, but Think Think does not. Think Think is not in the running. Fab Francine, what do you want to do, Fabby? Spy on again. All right, I will spy on again. Hold on, here we go. Hold your tickets. Fart breaker. Fart breaker. Don C, do you have an orgasm shirt? I don't remember. All right, no, Fab had me spy on again. So Don C, I can't remember if you have one. I could look, I suppose. Let's see. You do not. All right, Don C is the winner of the Eargasm shirt for tonight for that hype train. Pardon my fart. That's a great song, by the way. All right. Pardon my, pardon my fart I'm gonna swallow my fears I'm gonna swallow my fart Oh, that's gross All right <laughs> Let me write down your name, Don Hold on a second Because I will forget Because that's what I do is I, I drink and I forget things All right, Don C I'll give it to you on Wednesday, Don. Oh, need fart wherever you are, wherever thou art. I believe that my fart will go on. My goodness. Hey, we should do that on Sunday, Wendy. It's the best song with the word heart in it, except we'll sing all the hearts as farts. Like that Pearl Jam song. Hearts and farts, they fade away. Hearts and farts, they fade. Right, anyway. Don't go sniffing my shards. Oops, I sharded again. I don't know. I, this, this stream has gone completely off the rails. What's up, drunk Yula? I recognize you from uh, Fantastic Plastics. Are you drunk, Yula? Owner of a Lonely Thought. There's a clip of me saying that in the Brooklyn guy voice. A clip of that somewhere. All right, so let's go on with the list here. So we've, we've, uh, we've hit Pink Floyd, and um, so we're starting to kind of cross over into the, into the progressive into the progressive rock realm of, uh, of my life and that era of things. Um, so my first real prog rock experience, um, the first solo I ever learned, keyboard solo, was, um, well, I, no, I, you know what? I don't want to skip ahead. The first Genesis I was exposed to was, thanks, Joe Lopes. Um, the first Genesis I was exposed to was um, A Trick of the Tale, which is uh, Genesis's first album with Phil Collins as the lead vocalist in 1976. Seven, six, six. Um, Joe Lopes, you just tipped me $25. Would you like to pick a song from Trick of the Tale that you would like to hear? I will read you the track list, and you can tell me if you like any of them. Hold on. Joe Lopes, who just put in twenty five dollars, is gonna is gonna is gonna pick up fart shaped box. All right, so here are the um, here are the songs on a trick of the tail that you can choose from, Joe. 
And if you um, if you really don't want to choose any of these songs, then I will I will hit you up for a request off a different album. But here are the songs of a trick of the Dale: "Dance on a Volcano," "Entangled," "Squonk," "Mad Mad Moon," "Robbery Assault and Battery," "Ripples," a trick of the Tale title track, and "Los Endos," which is an instrumental. That I'm not sure if I've ever played on the stream before. Um, these are all good truck truck stop, Dave. Um, make sure you tune into the Jukesters on uh, on Sunday. To, you can nominate. So Lopes, uh, any of those songs ring a bell for you, or do you want me to wait until another album that you can pick a song? Dance at a Volcano, Entangled, Squonk, Mad Mad Moon, Rubbery, Salt and Battery, Ripple, Trick of the Tail, Los Endos. Well, the, well, turn it on again is not on Trick of the Tail. We're doing the albums. We're doing the the Fabric album. Duke was not a Fabric album. Genesis was the fabric band. So Joe, you gotta you gotta stick to the program here. Stick to the program over here. Stick over here. Pay attention. Focus, Lopes. Focus. I know it's been over a week since I streamed. You gotta focus. All right. Think Think says squonk, but Think Think didn't just send twenty five dollars in. So um, Think Think doesn't get to doesn't get to pick. Assault and buttery. Hocus by focus. <laughs> All right. You know, okay, so you know what? I, I will I will do that one. Because um, Hocus Pocus by Focus was, I guess you consider an early influence because uh, my older sister had the 45 of Hocus Pocus by Focus. And the song was so long that you actually had to flip the 45 over in the middle of the song to get the rest of the song. Um, and I remember hearing that as a small kid and hearing the yodeling and saying, that's hilarious. Just like that. I was a little kid, like this big. I said, that's hilarious. All right. All right. Hocus Pocus, which was which is a slight departure from, from what I had planned on doing right here tonight, but we're making it, we're fitting it in, Joe. Fitting it in for you, because we love you. Joe, we love you. Just want to say we love you. Owner of a lonely foot. I can think of three yes songs off the top of my head that fit into the heart mold. All right. Um, oh, yes. I was going to put some lasers on, because lasers are cool. You ready? Mm. Here we go.
for the follows two follows during that one I don't even know what's going on was, was the Tominator is that you behind me what the, is that you holding I can't get my fucking arms out god damn it there were two follows during that I can't even I can't even I can't even turn to, to click the mouse to see who uh, fucking followed the bush cats thank you for the Oh, that's got to be Babush Cats behind me. Looks like a Babush Cats. What are you doing? Ugh. Off. The fuck off me. Oh, my God. I guess I'm just going to have to play drums like this now. Oh, my God. Who thought of this? Can you hear Wendy laughing? <laughs> All right. All right. Anyway, thank God that's over. My goodness gracious. Anyway, thank you, Drunkula. How come I can't give Drunkula a sub? Did somebody already do it? Oh. Gifted, who gifted Drunkula a sub? Hold on. I want to say thank you. I don't know. I'm I'm stumped. But anyway, hold on. Oh, thank you for the follow. Oh, you have to follow to be subbed? I don't think. I can't give Drunkula a sub. Well, Drunkula, you would be subbed if we could. I love you enough now for you to sub. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for allowing us to sub you. All right. Thank you, Kimmy. Locks. All right. So where were we? So we were starting. Uh, we were starting to do some prog, and we were going to do some something from the trick of the tail. Uh, uh, uh. I I was trying. Kimmy was trying. Senorita was trying. We're all trying to sub Drunkula. <laughs> By the way, I love your cereal, Count Drunkula. It was my favorite breakfast cereal in high school. Um, what was it? Uh, Los Endos drums. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can find just the drums here. Drums. Only 
Drums and bass mix. Let's see what this sounds like. This is an instrumental by, uh, this is the last song on, um, on uh, A Trick of the Tail. And, uh, Ooh, it's loud. Sandos Genesis from the um, from the Trick of the Tail album, uh, my earliest prog influence by far. Um, let's see, so we're just about through the top ten, and I'm um, so another. Uh, 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 I hadn't hit Rush yet, um, but I had hit the Who and uh, Quadrophenia and Tommy were the Who uh, rock operas, and the thing about Quadrophenia that I loved that I didn't realize that I loved at the time was that there was a lot of um, what we call in music pedal tones. So you hear a lot of there's one there's one note going on in the bass. Hold on a second. Like what the the best example is um, "Roll with the Changes" by Argo Speedwagon. hitting one note in the bass and the and the chord is changing on top of it and um, the Who's Quadrophenia album had so much of that on it I don't know if they were the the pioneers of that kind of a style of of writing but uh, Uh, 
Uh, that was a song called um, um, Bellboy. What should I play off Quadrophenia? I'll play something. Hold on. Quadrophenia tracklist. If I have Love Rain Army in my uh, in my voice tonight, but they left the small second hanging, making us guess who. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, here's a good one. All right, hold on. All right, Kimmy. Sleep good. So this is a song called uh, called "The Punk Meets the Godfather" from Quadrophenia.
Quadrophenia. Punk Meets the Godfather was the name of that tune from Quadrophenia. Um, yeah, so I guess I guess Tommy was, was probably my first Who album, uh, as it was probably most people's, because you had uh, had your pinball wizard over there, and you're welcome to the camp. What do you think of that, Don C? You ever hear me play that one before? I should put that one on the song list. Um, but for my money, Quadrophenia, uh, the best Who album. So many good songs. You know a couple of songs on Quadrophenia, no doubt. Hold on. Quadrophenia track list. You know, um, you know the real me. I am the sea, the real me. Um. Can you see the real me? Can you? Can you? Can you see the real me? And you know, um, you know, uh, Punk Meets the Godfather, because I just played for you. Duh. You know, Love Rain or Me. And you know, um, why should I care? Why should I care? It's 5.15. Um, and maybe, maybe you would know Bellboy, because it's funny. Maybe you would know um, Drowned or Sea and Sand. I don't know if those are more well known. They were, I think they were on the Who's Greatest Hits. What was the, what was that Who album that was kind of a greatest the greatest hits it wasn't whose greatest hits. Maybe it was. I don't know. I don't know. All right, Kimmy. So anyway, um, so who Quadrophenia should be on the list? Um, so now we start moving into uh, a little later. Of course, I discovered um, a band called uh, Rush. Um, of course, you know Tom Sawyer's is Tom Sawyer is everybody's first. First Rush song, maybe. I don't know. Meaty, beady, big and bouncy. I think that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah, Joe, thank you. Yep, Bellboy is on there for sure. But it's... it's It's, it's all just this and the bass. John Entwistle, great bass player, just sat there doing this all day. And let... Pete keep changing the chord. I've got a job and I'm newly born. You can see me dressed up in my uniform. I live in hotels, all gilt and flash. Feminine dolls and the dolls we smash. Bell boy, go get ready now. Tom Sawyer, constructor, but failed to construct a life. It's retirements, maybe. Wow. Chris is, uh, Chris is having some interesting conversations over here in the chat. You've heard me play all the moving picture songs enough, so I'm going to skip moving pictures. Um, what else do we have on the prog list? We had um, Marillion, Misplaced Childhood, um, with, uh, with the song Kaylee on it. That was an early influence. And then, um, of course... Before we leave the realm of the of the prog influences, um, we have to mention uh, brain salad surgery. What's up, T Bone? I don't know if I'm even going to get to requests today, but um, I'll be streaming again on Wednesday. I've already been two and a half hours, and I'm starting to I'm starting to fray a little bit. I do love that song though. That's not on the list. That's weird. It should be. Got the sound for that.
Dodo. That's a good. That's a good. 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 Good song from Abacab. I, I, you could. You could count Abacab as an early influence, no doubt. Genesis eighty one. All right. So where were we? Oh yes. Um, ELP brain salad surgery. And yes, I think I'm going to do this one tonight. That's an awful lot of reverb. That was your first Genesis? Gotcha. It's making me type it. Fucker. All right. part where I where I where I'm Emerson Lake and Palmer at the, at the same time according to Don Cassidy here we go all right me too T-Bone Come inside, come inside. There are no glass, there's a real plate of brass. Be careful as you pass, move along, move along. Come inside, the show's about to start. Guaranteed to blow your head apart. Rest assured, you'll get your money's worth. Pay this show in heaven, hell, or earth. Gotta see the show. It's time to move. Gotta see the show. It's right. Skies. You laugh until the cries 
I just um, I find myself in the middle of doing things Kenny and Kenny and Kenny <laughs> where'd that other stick go <clears throat> FWOW thank you guys I should practice that someday when I'm not on stream let me I lost my drumstick I don't know how I lost my drumstick and all that <laughs> T-bone. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I have to do it again because I forgot to put up my ELP wallpaper. <laughs> oh, all right. FFF my work. All right. I mean, I have a couple extra sticks under the kit, but I don't know where it possibly could have gone. Oh, well. Nope. I got another one. Well, this one is significantly lighter than this one. What's up, Bookman DDK? Welcome to the Prog Rock Piano Ball. I'll fix this real quick. Hold on. Go we'll find my stick while I'm fixing my stool. All right. Can I go over here? Nope. <clears throat> it's like the Bermuda Triangle of drumsticks. Oh, sweet mystery of life, at last I found you. What that, what that sounded like? I can name that tune in one note. It sounds like... Um, All right, so anyway, moving on. Jamming mood tonight. Good, good, good. I like to hear it over here. Um, so then, so I'm cue the bear next time he bends over for drumsticks. Hey, Mingo, what's up? Good day. Good morning to you. I lost track of, of how many hours ahead of us Australia is. Are you 13 hours ahead of us? It's uh, it's 20 minutes after 10 p.m. here. Is it 20 after 1 p.m. there? It's Pete. Welcome, Pete. How are you doing? With all of his swords and viewers. <laughs> Welcome, Raider. 
How you doing? And then, uh, hey, Manu, Mana, Manu Tencio. How you doing, buddy? Uh, the Mod Father is the artist formerly known as Peter Bienna One, who is arranging a, uh, arranging a charity for Valentine's weekend at the moment. All right, so you guys are 13 hours ahead. Got it. Okay. Not 13, 15. Sorry. 15 hours ahead. And when our clocks go back, you'll be 14 hours ahead. Or clock, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll talk again next week. How you been, the Mod Father? Thank you for your grand entrance. I'm assuming that you weren't really streaming because you came in with one. If you were streaming and you came with one, sorry. I think you were just being fun. All right, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna zip ahead here. So I started to discover guitar players, and um, the first guitar player that I discovered uh, was none other than Mr. Edward Van Halen, um, and that guitar sound on. Uh, Van Halen one, it was just uh, life changing. Just a, like this, the only one who's ever come close to getting that guitar sound is Eddie Van Halen again on Fair Warning. Um, but uh, Nuno Betancourt on the first Extreme album also had that, just that massive Marshall reverby, amazing sound. But Ed, Edward was just a pioneer of the sound and the style and the and the rhythm and the and the and the leads. It just it, he he was just he was you know, arguably the, the greatest of all time in terms of guitar players. Um, started streaming yesterday, he said. Buh. Started streaming yesterday, buh. Well, it's like 2 a.m. So oh, okay, gotcha. Well, I hope you had a good stream. What, what are you streaming, Modfather? Are you streaming music? Are you chatting? What are you doing? I live my life like this. No tomorrow, all I've got, I've had to fear. But um, after Edward Van Halen, I discovered a guitar player named Steve Vai. And uh, he became um, my favorite of all time. I'm going to play a Steve Vai song for you right now um, because, um, you know, just because I got a Steve Vai guitar and he he is definitely... Um, a pretty a pretty significant part of the fabric, no doubt. All right. tune before the stream. Stream Fortnite with musical pops. Okay. I don't know what any of that means, but I know that Fortnite is a game. How's that? See, I'm not that old. <laughs> That's a sound right there, isn't it? I started messing around with this earlier when I was just trying to get my fingers moving again.
Rock the Piano's here. Holy shit. Thank you for the resub, Adam. Rock the Piano. Are you still streaming, or are you doing uh, all real life stuff now? I know you had your year your year stream anniversary, but I haven't seen you on lately. But if you're not following Rock the Piano, thank you, Don C. I'm going to do one more Vi song. It's I, I do it once in a while. Um, I don't know it quite as well as that uh, as that last one, but I love it. Let's see. This is one um, that was also from Passion and Warfare, but it was originally um, it was originally from uh, recorded for the Flexible album, which was his first one. And then he bye, Mingo. Um, for the Flexible album, but uh, it didn't make the cut, so uh, he put it on Passion Warfare, and this is called Blue Powder. Peace and love and good happiness stuff. <laughs>
Hey, Kenny. All right. All right, so as long as we're, uh, as long as we're here uh, in this part of the history... As long as we're here on this part of the history. So I started to discover uh, that I really liked musicians named Stevie, uh, starting with Stevie Vai. And then after Stevie Rye uh, came uh, Stevie Vai's cousin, Stevie Ray. <laughs> Stand the weather. That's that's what. Um, that's right, Kimmy. I didn't even know you were here. I would not have been playing guitar for three songs in a row, have I known. Uh, everybody, please follow Tom in Boston, because he's freaking awesome, and he has a great way to start the day. His name is Tom, and he lives in Boston, so he calls himself Tom in Boston. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. 
He was from Mars, that's for sure. All right, so there was Stevie Vai, and then there was Stevie Ray. And then, you know who the third Stevie was, right? Hi, Quasi. What, Wendy? You gonna give Quasi some bits? All right. So the third Stevie, Stevie Wonder, that is correct, top A. Very good. Not Stevie Nicks. She's not part of the fabric. She's part of a she's part of the barn. She's like a goat. That no one looked. I walked by. Um so Stevie Wonder had a um had a greatest hits album called Original Musiquarium, and that was uh, there were there were like all the all the hits were on that one, and I and, I, and that kind of started pointing me in the direction of in, in more of an R and B direction. Because Stevie Ray got me more of in a blues direction, and then uh, Stevie Wonder stuff, and um, maybe a little Earth, Wind, and Fire around the same time started getting me into the the R and B part of my uh, uh, of my life. <clears throat> Let me see if there's a good one on there. Oh, uh, you know what, Don? You want to pick one off there? Joe picked, uh, Joe already picked, Joe already picked the Hocus Pocus, but you put in a dono. Uh, Stevie Wonder, original music for our young track list. Living in the city. All right, Don is trying to kill me, apparently. Let me see if I can find a, let me find a key. I can sing this song, and if there, if one even exists in nature, uh, it is a great song, though. Living for the city. Here you go. No, that's the one I did. Hold on. Stevie Wonder, Living for the City lyrics. <laughs> See if I can, I can pick a key for this. Oh, boy is born in Hot Town, Mississippi, surrounded by four walls. His parents give him love and affection to keep him strong, living in the right direction, living just enough, just enough for the city. His father works some days for 14 hours, and you can bet he barely makes a dollar. His mother goes. She hardly gets a penny Living just enough Just enough For the city yeah. His sister's black Should she is shown or pretty Her skirt is shown But all her legs are sturdy To walk to school She's gotta get up early Her clothes are old But never are they dirty Living just
from Stevie Wonder because he's so freaking great. Debbie, thank you for uh, gift sub and for 500 bits. Jared, thank you for the resub. Bell Space is a new streamer from Land Down Under, I believe. Uh, are you guys from Down Under? Raiders, hello, Dark Native. Welcome, welcome. <sighs> Melbourne, nice. Welcome, Raiders. I was just giving a shout out to our new friend uh, Bell's Space. I do a stream from Down Under. Dark Native, a uh, streamer from uh, up up there, up the up uh, in America's. In America's hat, Canada. Uh, Dark Native doing uh, chat streams, raising awareness of uh, of uh, the unfair treatment of indigenous people across North America. The Dark Tribe is joining your mission. Wow, nice. So, uh, Clever Moron. That was another one of my Twitch handles, by the way. Thank you, Bell Space, for 100 bits. So, my name is Kenny. I'm here... Uh, in my living room in Huntington, New York. If you want to look it up on a map, it's a little east of New York City. And um, we're having our 3,500 follower stream tonight. Um, and um, we're just discussing some of the some of my musical influences over the years, That you know, all the, the music that makes up who I am. I've got 3,550 followers. That means that my, my, uh, my page is going to say 3.6K. That's respectable. I thought I was going to like, I thought I was going to top out at like 1,000. That's what I thought. And Kelly Gates was like, no, dude. No, you're going to pass everybody, she said. Whew. How's your uh, your re-entry into civilization, Debbie Skolnick? Debbie Skolnick was out down in Cancun with us last week with her husband having his birthday. Clever moron, thank you for your follow. Um, the stream is going well. It's um, My voice is starting to get a little a little ragged, but we're getting through it. I wonder if this... I wonder if that cough drop is from before vacation or if I just knocked it over. I don't know. Um, two days later, you were a Super 8. I saw that. It's a long way down. <laughs> uh, 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 so, um, we have a couple more. A couple more I was going to get through tonight, but Dark Native, if there's something you would like to hear, let me know. How was your stream, Dark Native? You want to tell us about what you were doing tonight? So we were just up to uh, Steve Vai, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and Stevie Wonder, the three Stevies. They were all part of uh, the fabric that is that is my musical identity. And um, there's a few more bands on here, a few more CDs. Um, that I would love to share with you. I got about uh, four, maybe four or five more. But um, we can uh, interrupt the program for you, Dark Native, if you think of something you want to hear. Um, so let me know. So um, moving on. So kind of took a weird... A weird October is Women's History Month in Canada. Um, Dark Native, um, between you and me, you might you might want to buy a calendar. Okay, October October is over. There's no more. There's no more. There's no more October left. It's November. It's November first. Flip, flip your calendar over. Okay. All right, you guys didn't hear that, right? Just that was just a message to Dark Native. Um. <laughs> oh my god, Debbie. <laughs> R.I.P. Gord D. Oni. What does that mean? Um. <laughs> All right, GML. Anything I can do to help? No extra charge. Um. Okay, what was that? Lucky man? Is that what you said? Hold on. Lucky man. All right, you know what? I can uh, I can bring Scott on for this. So our friend um, our friend uh, Scott Firestone is on um, is on hiatus from streaming at the moment, but he is still he's still available for me to. Oh, that's not what I want. Hold on. 
Mm-mm-mm. I made sure that made sure it was okay to still use his videos, even though he was taking a break from Twitch. He thought I was serious, which was adorable, by the way. Mm-mm-mm. Lead singer tragically hit. Did he just die? T-shirt, or, oh, this is a T-shirt uh, that Wendy brought home for me from Cancun the last time she went a couple of years ago. Um, so in Mexico and, and the, the Mayan following originating uh, countries, uh, today is a day called Dia de la Muerta, Day of the Dead. Um, and this is, when you see this, this skull, it's generally an, uh, emblematic of that holiday. Uh, it's a holiday where, where people go to the cemetery and hold vigil all night for their for their dead loved ones, and um, it's, a, it's not a sad holiday. It's a happy holiday. They they celebrate the spirit. Um, and there's usually skull, skulls all over, like this all over the place, and um, um, and half dead marigolds flowers. So. Oh, gotcha. Okay. What's going on with my uh, my computer over here? Why is it not pulling up when I need it? There it is. Okay. All right. So for uh, Dark Native, I'm going to bring uh, Scott Firestone onto the stream over here.
Oh my God, so many things happening. Uh, thank you for the raid, Dark Native. That was for you, Lucky Man, ELP, definitely part of the fabric. Um, Laney Schooltree and uh, your community, welcome in. Laney Schooltree, are you following Proggies? Proggies? Proggies. Are you following Laney Schooltree? She does a really cool stream. She does music. She does games. She does fun. She's got, she's got personality that just explodes off the screen. Explodes off the screen. And you got some paper towels you gotta wipe up what it just exploded off the screen and um just lots and lots of fun this she's she does music production and uh she does like a dating game kind of a thing and um follow her she's cool cool lady and she's a good supporter of the channel also um uh we were rated earlier by uh coffee talk uh who's a streamer originally from new york now lives out in ohio somewhere is but uh, he does a chat stream uh, most mornings, and I'll be a guest on his show in the very near future. We're we're going to book a date for sometime in the next uh, in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you're following Coffee Talk, um, which I believe has two F's in it. I don't hold on. I'll do that one, Toppy. Uh, 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 uh. How was your stream, Laney? What were you uh, What were you streaming tonight? Ah. Improvised live loops. All right. Cool. Was it fun? Were you creative? Did your people like it? That's all I want to know. That's what's important. Um, so tonight what we're doing here is we're talking about, uh, it's our 3,500 follower um, stream. And I'm just uh, sitting here talking about myself. <laughs> What else is a streamer going to do? Live comes is some mess, some good. It's fun and creative. All right, cool. All right, good. As long as you feel redempted. <laughs> you guys are cute. They are cute, aren't they? So, um, yeah, so uh, talking about my, the, the composition of the, the, my own musical identity. So we've been through Billy Joel. We've been through the Beatles. We've been through Genesis. We've been through Pink Floyd. We've been through Queen. We've been through Yes. We've been through Boston. Uh, we've been through Styx. We've been through uh, Stevie's Wonder, Vi, and Ray Vaughan. Uh, we've been through Elton John. We've been through Rush. We've been through Van Halen. We've been through Marillion. We've been through ELP. And there's just a handful. Oh, and we've been through uh, Hocus Pocus by Focus. And uh, we've just got a few. Um, we've just got a few more left. Um a onesie that can dance like in like chill rub, nice. Um, yeah, so that's so that's all the uh, a lot of the music that makes up me and and what I do. Tuba dudes, we missed you this week, man. It was a great trip. Thank you for the ten months resub. So, Lainey, uh, if there's anything I can play for you that makes up your musical fabric, you let me know. Or I can tell you what the next few on the list are, and you can pick one, because I'm sure that there will be something that you like on there, because your musical taste is not dissimilar to mine. So, why don't we... Um, um, let's talk about... Uh, let's talk about what's left on the list here. So, what's left on the list... Um, what recent artists do I enjoy? Um, let's see. I I do like Bruno Mars. I know that sounds surprising and shocking, and you may leave the stream after I said that, but I think that he's a very, very talented dude. Um, he writes decent, catchy songs, even though some of them sound like other people's songs first. But um, what else do I I do like some of the Foo Fighter stuff, although it seems to be a little formulaic. <clears throat> um, what else? Wendy, what else do I like that's new? Newish. I don't know if she's thinking. Nothing. 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 She says, I don't like anything that's new. <laughs> Dua Lipa. You know, Dua Lipa has that, uh, has that song Levitating that's on the radio that we play at weddings. And I really, uh, I really like that song. Um, Bleacher, I don't know Bleacher. Although, um, although we can drink a toast to, um, to bleached anuses. 
That's right, anal bleaching. Um, because uh, every asshole needs to lighten up a little bit. Cheers, everybody. All right, look at that, Lady School Tree. The progs are following you. When's your next stream? Thursday? During the jokesters? If you like Billy Joel. Okay. I'll take that under advisement. All right, Clever Moron, it was good to see you. Thank you for uh, following, and I hope to see you again. Thursday, at, yeah, same time as the jukesters. All right. Well, um, maybe if we play a crappy song, everybody can go check out your stream. <laughs> or we can come visit you after if you're still on Merp. Anyway, so... There's a bunch of stuff from the 90s. Yes, I do like Joe Bonamassa, although I've heard he's a bit of an asshole. But his playing is good. Um, so from the 90s, we have a band called Jellyfish. Huge, huge influence. Um, but they kind of sound like... Um, thank you for the follow, Keen Eyes Smith. Um, Jellyfish, huge just such a huge fan of that band. Um, they were from the early 90s. They only had two albums, but they were sort of a hybrid of the Beatles, Queen, and and Super Trap with awesome songwriting and awesome vocals and, and arrangements. And um, just every one of their songs was just was freaking amazing. So, okay, no, I'm, I'm going to pick a Jellyfish song. I don't know which one yet. How about, um, uh, uh, uh. this is one from, um, you've never checked them out. Oh my God, Laney, you gotta hear them. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a song for you right now called, uh, the King is half undressed. They only have two albums. Um, although there is a box set, but they, they have two studio albums. One is called belly button. Uh, and the other is called spilt milk. And um, they're both awesome. And this is from the Belly Button album. Um, let's go a little, chilled out a little bit. Yeah, yes. so the Sun Watcher, um, the drummer very unique and unique band in that the drummer is the singer but they don't stick him in the back on the riser sitting down and playing the drums he actually stands up front where a lead singer would stand but he plays the drums standing up and singing at the same time he plays a, I guess what they call a cocktail kit it's pretty cool She stands at night on this cold avenue of lights with the more reds and greens, but mostly red for you. He's stopping in seeing him. She knows him less. His stick is wet. She's half undressed, and all in all, they're both obsessed with so much and nothing. I know it's hard for you to see. What lies behind the mystery If words could speak They'd mean even less When the king is half undressed She dots her eyes With a smiley face A work of art But all the taste The fool deserves The bed he's made Where idiots love Divine she is to air his fate A crack of smile through all his hate Means nothing more in this nervous state Than so much nothing I know it's hard for you to see The truth behind the mystery If words could speak they mean even less
Oh, so many awesome tunes, Laney School. Yeah, go check them out. Jellyfish. Their logo looks just like that. And like that. So many good songs and good lyrics, too. Uh. Hold on a second. One of the streamer mutes the microphone while they blow their nose for you. No other. And that is why you follow. Yeah, it's another one of those great bands that just uh, couldn't get along. It's sad. But they all have solo projects. <clears throat> all right. I'm going to get you a, a request, lady, for sure. So what's left? Well, in late 1988, there was an album called Operation Mind Crime by a band called Queensryche. And, uh... Man, did I listen to that one a lot. Anybody know that one? Operation Minecraft? A lot of people kind of, they accused it of, of being a little bit of a ripoff of Pink Floyd the Wall, but man, I can't remember how I get the, there's Queensryche wallpaper. Make you love Queensryche? Have you heard any Queensryche? The guy can sing, man. Holy shit. Holy shit, can that guy sing? Um, what should I do for Mind Crime? Oh, I know what I'll do. <laughs> if you put those dancing cats up during mission, Don. Those fucking cats. All right. So it's a it's a sort of a modern day concept album about a guy who is just he's caught up in drugs and 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 addicted to shit and he finds this new world order who who uh, who brings him on as an assassin as a hitman and uh, you know those fucking cats. And we're up to the part where. Um, where the where the person in charge tells um, tells the assassin that you, he needs to uh, he he needs to kill the nun who he's in love with, and also the priest as well. Silent Lucidity is great. Yes, not this album though. Mission, hold on. Shit. All right, hold on, I'll do mission. Hold on. In the wooden chair beside my window, I fear it where a face born in the pouring rain. Talk to shadows from a lonely candle Recite the phrases from the wall I can't explain This holy place
sing but um yeah queen's Rake operation mind crime as taken as a whole piece it's awesome i wanted to do sister mary so there's one lyric on this album could have been written today it's, it's from the late 80s but hold on um revolution calling night uh uh <laughs> who's messaging me i'm streaming stop it um Got no love. Um, hold on, at least I can sing this. For a, for a. For a prize, I'll do about anything except pull the trigger. For that, I need a pretty good cause. And I heard of Dr. X, a man with a cure. Just watch the television, yeah, you'll see there's something going on. Got no love for politicians, all oh, that greatest scene on this sea. It's just a power man town. For the time is right for changes, there's a growing field that take it. what you said debbie curious to hear this prophetic 1980s like put your iphone on sound off because i'm on snapchat i don't get it he's she's, he's saying um i used to trust the media to tell me the truth tell us the truth now i've seen the payoffs everywhere i look who do you trust when everyone's a crook it's just like it's been going on for so long it's just a power man town anyway your iphone in the sky I never knew that he was saying Power Med Town before. <laughs> I was saying it was just Power Mental or something like that. All right, so what else is on the list? There's a couple more. A couple more on the list, and I really got to start to pee very soon. I don't, I'd rather not be sitting in this chair when I start. Um, so there's three more on the list. 
Um, Sting, Ten Summoners Tales, beginning to end. Not a bad song on there, not a bad note, not nothing. What do you think about that, Laney School Tree? You like Ten Summoners Tales? That's the one with uh, If I Ever Lose My Faith in You. If I Ever Lose My Faith in You. And it's got Fields of Gold on there. It's got, um, it's got Seven Days, which ironically is in 5 4, even though it's called Seven Days. <laughs> What Don C? Am I? Does it sound like your? Uh, does it sound like your CD collection from uh, the nineties? Yes, it's absolutely perfect. Uh, you know, if I ever lose my faith in you, is, is another one that could have been written today. Hold on. I'll do this one. If I pee, are you guys gonna like leave all at once? I really gotta go, but I want to play more for you. You know what? I'm gonna. We had Tom in Boston in here before. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put on his uh, I'm gonna put on his shout out. Here you go. Check it out. Pizza chips. Yeah. Said you wouldn't leave. Not leaving. <clears throat> All right. Hold on. Anyway, that's Tom in Boston. Um, I don't want you guys all to leave. While whoa, we just dropped from like fifty-seven to thirty-nine. Holy shit! All right, you promised you wouldn't leave. I'm going to keep playing. Um, Anyway, uh, that's Tom in Boston. Please uh, give him a follow. He'll be on on uh, Wednesday morning. And uh, I'm going to do a few more songs for you. Uh, This first one is the opening track from... um, (laughs) From Ten Summoner's Tales. Uh, Sting.
Sting, Stingle Ling a Ding Ding Dong, Stingle Dinger, Stingle Huffer, Sting. <sighs> what a great album that was. Ha ha. You like my version better? I was pretty close to the original there, but thank you. All right. Um, so I got two more on there. Um, one of them, I don't know if I can play any songs from. Some of you, I'll just leave it alone. Yeah, you know what, I'll just say We were talking about it a couple weeks ago when I was on uh, Kevin Gilbert. There's an album called uh, The Shaming of the True, uh, which is a fantastic album, beginning to end. I don't know, if Don C., if you've listened to that one, but if you like all the other shit that I like, you'll like that one too. Um, but I don't know that I can play any of the... I don't know if I can play any of the songs off that one. And, um, and the last one on my list here is um, Pearl Jam 10, the first Pearl Jam album. And I'm going to sing a song by Pearl Jam for you. You know that one, Don? Nice.
Yeah. So that's it. That, uh, that went on a little longer than I, than I thought it was going to do that stream. So sorry I didn't get to any, uh, any SR requests, as I said I might. But I'll be back on, uh, on Wednesday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Laney, did you wanna did you wanna pick one before I go? You wanna pick the last song, or um, anybody who dropped bombs tonight? Breezy, you wanna you wanna pick the last song? No, I've, been, I've I picked all the songs tonight, Laney. You rated, so you pick. You picked the last song. There's nothing left. You pick whatever you want. Whatever you want. Free for all. But just for you. Free for Laney. Not free for all. Just free for Laney. <laughs> Cream Crimson? Sure. Absolutely. Sorry. Looking for a... for a target for a raid. I want to find somebody small tonight, I think. But, all right. Thank you, Toppy. Rusted chains of prison moons are shattered by the sun. I walk the road, horizons change, the tournament's begun. The purple piper plays his tune, the choir softly sing. The lullabies in an ancient, in an ancient, the lullabies in an ancient tongue to the chord of the crimson king. La Shutters on the dreams I wait outside the pilgrim's door With insufficient schemes The black weed chants the funeral march The cracked brass bells will ring The summon back the fire witch In the court of the crimson king Long
Soft gray mornings, widows cry The wise men share a joke I run to grasp divining signs To satisfy the hopes The yellow jester does not play Thus gently pulls the strings And smiles as the puppets dance In the court of the Crimson King Watch lights fade from every room. Bedsitter people look back and lament. Another day's useless energy spent. Impassioned lovers, restless one. Lonely man cries for love and has none. New mother picks up and circles her son. Sin and citizens which they were young. Cold hearted orb that rules the night removes the colors from our sight. Red is gray and yellow white, but we decide which is right and which is an illusion. Those two songs go together like peanut butter and jelly. That's all I'm saying to you. He's got the gong. Of course I got the gong. It's a prog rock freaking piano bar, for God's sakes. Oh, how did Genesis get up there? All right, so um, first of all, first, first and first most, from the heart of my bottom, like our friend Peter says, I would like to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you uh, to our mods tonight, uh, Feral Helena, uh, who resubbed her tier three subscription and modded and dropped sub bombs um, to uh, Breeze, who resubbed her tier three sub tonight and modded and dropped at least two, possibly three sub bombs. I'd have to look back. You know what you did, Breeze. You know what you did. Uh, I want to thank Toppy for, you know, better late than never, I guess. Thanks for coming, Toppy. You missed the whole hype train. Nobody knew 
nobody knew how many songs I played, but it's okay. You'll be uh, at 7 o'clock for you on Wednesday, Toppy. I won't make you feel bad. Uh, maybe a little. There's something in New York we have called Jewish guilt. And um, you're getting it right now. <laughs> um, of course, Kimmy, I want to thank Kimmy because Kimmy's uh, generosity is boundless. But there were plenty of others who uh, who supported the stream tonight as well. And um, can't do it without you. And uh, thank you for warmly welcoming me back. Um, you have Californian guilt? All right. Um, thank you to Don C. and Joe Lopes and Kimmy who donated. All the cheer givers. Serena Vox dropped a bomb. Bad Francine, Blue Strat. Um, you all got... It's, it's going too fast. It's going too fast. New followers. Keeney Smith. Oh, Keen I. Smith. Not Keeney. Keeney. This one has call me Keeney. It's going to be a long sub list tonight because Kimmy gave a whole bunch of uh, gift subs. But... Oh, yes, Toppy modded um, and gift subbed Cole Thornton. Thank you. Oh, the Sun Washer, that's so sweet of you to say. I, you know, I, I, I say this all the time to winners. It's like people come back and they keep watching me, and I don't really understand why, but I guess you guys like me, and thank you. <laughs> uh, you know, maybe uh, artists don't tend to like themselves very much. We'll leave it at that. Thank you, uh, Lainey and uh, Dark Native and Coffee Talk uh, for the raids tonight. And um, look at that. I, you know, I said it, Coffee Talk. I said it before you even chatted in the comments. Ha ha! See that? I'm a good streamer. Good streamer. Look at that. Lainey Coffee and Dark Native. And the Mod Father raided with one. That's uh, that's Peter being over there from, uh, from merry old England. Um, but thank you guys. Uh, Coffee talk. Are you on in the morning? Should we uh, should we come see you in the morning? What do you think? You gonna be on? Um, come raid with us. I don't know. I, I think there are so many music streamers on. I'd love to raid someone who's just starting out. Someone who's just got a couple viewers who could uh, use a little boot in the pants. Someone I never heard of before. Someone who's not a DJ. Someone who's got like, you know, 20 viewers or less. DJ, DJ, DJ. Uh uh uh. Let's see. DJ, DJ, DJ. All right. We'll think of something. Uh, in the meantime, in the meantime, don't forget, um, I'll be back on Wednesday. At um at three o'clock Eastern at seven o'clock GMT, noon uh, Pacific time if you guys are around. And uh, uh, what is this? Munch music. That's a DJ, I think. If anybody has anybody they want me to raid, let me know. Somebody small. What's this? Did you say the one with mystery apartment girls? She feels a breeze. Ultraviolet riot. So she looks behind it and guess what she found? <laughs> All right, coffee talk. We'll talk in the morning if you're not uh, streaming tomorrow. How can we not like you? I I no, I don't I don't accept that topic. Sorry, I can't hear it. <laughs> I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I'm just. I'm glad you guys keep. Uh, glad you guys keep showing up. All right. Let's see uh, who this person is. This is. Looks like a woman playing an Ibanez after my own heart. Metal. What do you think? What is Haas Caddy? Hold on. What do you think you could just come in here and just start start yelling out raid calls? Coffee talk? Is that what you think? Hold on, I gotta search for this person. Oh. 
should I go in here? Alright. Come on. Why not? Baby, don't you wanna go? I feel, I feel bad for anyone with Haas in their name. You know what? Hold on. I'm gonna play along. Oh, this is the guy that's on his. Okay, hold on. What's up, Closer? Halo?
Isn't this exciting? Oh, is he back? He's back. All right, let's go. Good night, John. All right, perfect timing. Yo. Yo ho. Sorry. 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 I'm a streamer. All right, grab that raid call, everybody, and let's uh, let's head on over. Sorry. I'm a streamer, and I'm an octopus. I keep my little bong right here. I thought of a way I can uh, get away with not having to stand up to do this. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Oh. Oh.